There he is. There he is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He looks bigger. He looks bigger. Wow. Fish on. Is it day five? Um, and we're here in Fairbanks still, and we stayed the night at this house, and believe it or not... Yeah, my parents built this house. My mom and dad came up when they were like in their 60s, and they came up with a, a couple of people, and they built this house in 1994, yeah. and we got to stay in it, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. So the lady's really nice, and she invited us here, she said, if you ever come to Fairbanks, so we took her up on her offer, and yeah uh, she's a german shepherd lover so you can hear the dogs barking yeah uh, but yeah it's it's amazing it's still standing here she's got a really neat place right out of the mountain here she's got beautiful birch trees around here i'll show mm -hmm. you a little bit a lot of flowers and and uh so it's really pretty but uh today what are we gonna do we're gonna head all the way back to palmer right palmer yep yeah and how many hours is that uh six or seven hours something drive. like that so we're just yeah michael and emily actually went on up to what was it the, uh chenna or china hot springs yeah some hot springs it's they're celebrating their 15th anniversary so they went up there and they're coming and picking us up bringing us some coffee and oh, some cinnamon, cinnamon rolls, rolls. <laughs> So we're hoping maybe on the way down we can stop and uh, uh, maybe catch a few grayling or ca catch a few fish. But when we came up on the south side of Denali, it was cloudy and rainy. So we never got to see the scenery. And today, this morning, you can see the sun shining. Yeah. So we're really hoping when we go down there that it's that it's beautiful and we get to see the scenery because they, uh -huh. everybody tells us it's really beautiful right through there. So we're looking forward to seeing that. So we're going to kind of retrace our steps back to Palmer and then tomorrow... We're going to go halibut fishing, mm -hmm. <laughs> Michael and I are, and the girls are going to hang out with a friend of ours uh, that lives up here. Yeah. And so that's, we're going to do half a day halibut, and they're going to spend the day in, around Homer and yep. going through shops and different things. So it'll be a fun day. We're looking forward. This is now a little bit over halfway of our trip. Yeah. It's going fast, way mm -hmm. too fast, but we're really mm -hmm. having a good time. Even in Alaska, you can grow Alaskan corn. Look at that. There's a couple of ears growing there. She's got a little greenhouse, very cute greenhouse here. She's got cherry tomatoes, and she does a really good job with her uh, flowers. And these are just wild flowers, fireweed, that grew out here. It's really pretty. A lot of aspen trees, birch trees around here. A real pretty spot. So we stopped at a pond here. And look at what Michael caught. Rainbow trout. That wow. Is it's pretty big. Yeah, probably maybe 13 inches. Huh. Okay, looks like he got one. All right. I got a dandy. Oh, oh, a nice rainbow. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, man, that's a nice rainbow. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Wow. That thing is nice. Wow, look at that. Beautiful fish. I'm going to release him real quick. There he goes. There it goes. Freedom. I think Priscilla found a friend. Found me a dog. <laughs> <laughs> so we came to this really cool little gift shop on the way back down to Palmer. Ah, this is pretty cool. Look at this. They got just like an old fashioned Alaskan. Thing of a jigger there. Look at that moose antlers. Very cool. Oh, I can't wait to get one of those. Look at that. That's a beauty right there. Lots of moose antlers. Wow, all the way around here. It's intense. Look, they got a polar bear inside there mounted. There's a caribou. Here they've got more amazing moose racks. Oh. Oh, that is so amazing. So awesome. 
have even have their own plane right here sitting in here even though we're this far north it basically doesn't get dark right now so they can grow amazing vegetables I mean look at that it doesn't get that warm but it's beautiful those are just beautiful veggies right there it's perfect I mean it's phenomenal really we just saw some big cabbages this morning at the place we were staying because it, they just keep growing they never stop growing 24 hours a day basically wow nice ground cover it looks great here's what you call a fish wheel this thing literally turns and scoops fish out of the river pretty ingenious I must say it's all made by chicken wire and like willow I'm not sure if this is serious or a joke <laughs> but look at this truck right here it's on skis an old truck I mean it looks real that is one of the strangest things I've seen in a while I just had to do a 360 degree view of our uh, trip here along the highway that leads up to Denali. It is incredibly beautiful, the mountains. Just so beautiful. All around us there's mountains. Bless you, Michael. There's even a little lake. What do you think, Mike? Uh, pretty amazing, I tell you what. I'd love to live right here. Pretty awesome. Okay, I just had to show you this amazing view. We're driving through, uh, right here's the Matanuska River. And this is the view in this valley, the Matsu Valley. It's just spectacular beyond measure. We found this little spot that has the world's largest chocolate fall. But there's a big pile of rocks that looks like I'm some kind of man. Let's go in and check out the chocolate fall. That's the world's largest chocolate fall. There it is. Look at that. Whoa. It smells wow. exceedingly good. Look, it comes from way up there. It dumps into that kettle. It comes down there, dumps in there, dumps in there, and then flows out of here. Look at all that chocolate. to stop on this highway and come up here take a little bit of video this is I think one of the more beautiful places we've seen that's coming from uh, Cook Inlet and this is looking west the sun's just kind of setting but you can see there's like 
As we're driving along, we're seeing like uh, waterfalls just come out of the side of the mountain right there. It is so beautiful. Oh, I mean, even just look at the flowers around here. It's intensely beautiful. I don't care how many times I've had to say it. What do you think, babe? This is wonderful. Beautiful here. So beautiful. This is looking east. Oh, it's a beautiful evening to take a drive. Just so lush and green and amazing. Okay, what's going on? What are we doing? We're actually going fishing. It's like 10.30 at night, and we're coming down here to the Kenai and the Russian River, and we're gonna try our hand at getting some salmon. We're really excited about this. It's got uh, Michael and I bought a fishing license the other day as you've been watching us fish, and now we're excited to see if we can catch some of these salmon. So we're walking about eight minutes down to the Russian River here. I guess there's just been some three uh, brown bears spotted down here just like a half an hour ago and a black bear so I don't know if we're gonna see one or not but keep our eyes open I guess couple guys out here fishing well here I am I'm fishing on the Russian River where the Russian River and the Kenai River meet and I'm out here in the water and I don't have waders so I'm literally wearing my pants and my shoes <laughs> but when you got a fish you got a fish right so there you can see the Kenai right behind me and here's the Russian behind me here and they're they're flowing together right in front of me and you can see the it's a lot more rushing out there it's actually a, not terribly cold here but it is a little chilly so i don't know if i'm going to catch any fish or not <laughs> but i'm trying so i don't see a lot of other people catching much of anything but it's called fishing right not catching so we'll see what's going to happen here well, it's 11.30 now, and we did not catch any fish, but you know what? It was still fun, and I can check that off my bucket list. Hopefully, it's not the last time. Hopefully, many more times, but uh, that was it was fun. Didn't see any bears either. Maybe next time. There's a little pine squirrel that's chewing on something as we came up to the truck. Looks like a cookie or a cracker or something somebody left. So Priscilla and Emily spent the day just looking around Homer with a dear friend of ours that lives up there in Soldatna. And they had a wonderful time just looking at all the cool shops, hanging out on a swing, and just doing all kinds of fun things. So they really had a good time while us guys had a lot of fun fishing. This is what you call uh, the Homer Spit. It goes all the way out stretches out in the water. It's just a whole bunch of touristy shops. Even over on the other side, there's a whole bunch of shops. Okay guys, I just want to show you Look at that long strip of land. And that's the Homer Spit. And that's where we were all day, basically. Just hanging out there, hanging, just checking out the shops and just enjoying the beautiful ocean and the mountains at the same time. It's just so, so beautiful. Just glorious here. Wow. I can understand why people love Alaska. Hey, Mike, what are we doing today? Sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get Michael to wake up. No, we're catching some halibut, hopefully. Yeah, Michael and I are, uh, well, we're on day six this morning, and we're driving uh, along the Kenai Peninsula all the way out to the end uh, to a place called Homer, 
it's one of one of kind of close to the end of the Kenai and we're gonna rent a charter for the afternoon and we're gonna go out and try to nab some halibut. but we can get two each so I'm hoping we can get some big ones. Michael's gone halibut fishing before right? He's gonna be combat fishing shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> combat, I'll combat. See, <laughs> see Michael and I guess the biggest one. Yeah, it's gotta be great. Here's the view going down into Homer. Ay, 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 that's beautiful. That's intense. Ay, 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 ay. There's a Homer spit going way out there. Ah, that's intense. Just endless. What do you think, bro? So we finally made it. We made it by the skin of our teeth. We were told to go to the wrong dock and we couldn't find the boat. But uh, we found it. It was awesome. So here we go. We're on our way. Oh man, I love this. I just love it. Oh. I love this. Woohoo! Oh, this is the best. Something about the ocean I love and I love fishing. Dropping the anchor. Okay, here's my first halibut. Just swallowing the thing up, little baby, but it's a, fa it's a halibut. Cool. We're just catching fish after fish. I just got another one on here. It looks like Tina. <laughs> This is Tina's cousin. She's a little bigger. Yeah, a little bit bigger. Okay, Michael's got a bruiser on here. He's got he's got a decent one. Yeah. This is like a 30, 30 inch or something. Whoa, oh yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Man, it is a beautiful day. Non-stop action, Michael, yeah. right? This is like the fourth one I've yanked up from 200 feet, and I tell you what, it is a workout for your arms. No it's kidding. Grief. But man, it is a party out here. Yeah, it, it is this beautiful. Is actually better than I and I mean, as soon as we get the bait down, we're yanking it up. Yep. And I just yep. caught me a cod too, which is so awesome <laughs> for me as a fish. I'm keeping it. Just real slowly, like one more Okay, I think I'm on fish number five right now, down there. They're all about 20 inches or so, but I kept one so far, and I'm going to keep going until I get the big one. As soon as I get it down, I get another one and bring it back up. It's just a blast. Yep. All right, okay, Joe has nope. just oh, caught a uh, hold him down. another halibut. I can't see how he's hooked. Okay, Pretty down. nice yes. one. If you want to keep him, which I, I say yes. Him, yeah. Okay. Let's yep. do it. All right. Wow, this has been amazing, huh, Joe? Oh, this is this is unreal. It's unbelievable action. I can't believe it. All right, gonna gaff that oh, thing. Nice and slow. Keep him flat. Oh, you see that little move on his ass? Yep. Got it. Oh. Oh yeah. Is he over? And, oh, I guess I can keep he's, he's under. Will you come grab this? I will. Is he a keeper? Do you think? Well, he is now. Okay. <laughs> Here we got him. You're keeping it. No, no, I, I would keep okay. this fish. Yeah. Yep. Cool. All righty. Terrific. All right, let's get that tag. Nice. Oh yes. Well, what do you think, bro? Thank you, Joas. Joas actually paid for this uh, fishing trip for my birthday. Hey, so Michael turned really a big 40, that. so no, no problem, Mike. Yeah. But uh, it was really fun. We, we were still pulling them up like crazy just to release them. We probably each pulled up a, oh, six or eight. Yeah, because there's most of them were pretty small, so you just, as soon as you got the bait down, man, you got them up, then you throw them back. Yeah. Got them up. 
So we kept the biggest one. Then we got to ride back like an uh, hour and a half back to the dock. Lost it. <laughs> there is the day's catch. Everybody on the boat tagged out, I think. Intense. A lot of meat right there. Well, we got back from our halibut excursion and we're driving to where we're going to stay the night. Actually, we're going to take care of our fish first. But there's the cabins that we built. We just happened to chance on them. We shipped these all the way up from Montana. They're Airbnbs. They sure look nice up here. Okay, this morning is the last day in Alaska. The last day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had an amazing time uh, here in Alaska, didn't we, babe? We did. We had a wonderful time. I'm looking forward to seeing the children, though. Yes, we are. I think we're kind of getting in the mode of go home now. Yeah. Uh, we're still down here in Soldatna, Alaska, and mm -hmm. we're going to make our way to um, Anchorage. And then this evening, we're going to go back on the plane. Now, we were on our way, but there was an accident on the road. Yeah. And the car was on its top, and so now we're stuck here for another hour. So There's no other way out. Right. So. We're <laughs> one way in, one way out. We were going to go to Seward. And check that out, but there's no way we'll make it now just because mm -hmm. of, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be too late. So we're hoping that we can get through here, do a few things yet, and yeah. then uh, hop on the plane. Yep. We spent actually spent a wonderful evening with a, with a family we didn't even know uh, up here. Mm -hmm. But originally I had called about some cabins uh, to sleep in. We built actually the cabins that you just saw in the video. We, we, I inquired if we could stay in those cabins. And... He said, no, they're full, but we can stay in their home. So we're actually in their home. And we had a very good time uh, meeting mm -hmm. the family. And so it was very nice. So. Yeah, they fed us an amazing breakfast out on their porch. Yep. It was it's just very nice. It's, That's right. It's awesome. Sometimes the people you meet and right. the connections that you make. Right. Yeah. So now we're just kind of taking a little walk here and um, getting ready to uh waiting on the the accident to clear up and then we're mm -hmm. gonna head out i guess yep look at this little uh spruce grouse and here's the baby oh run baby run such a cute little thing where'd he go there it is see if you can fly can you fly to your mom there you go watch you look at you go that's cute what do you think of this my love We're looking at Palmer area, the Matsu Valley, right on the edge of a cliff right here. What a pretty area, kind of overcast, a little hazy today. Okay, the last evening here in Alaska. We are getting ready to get on the plane here shortly. Yep. We've got some good food here. Yeah, we decided to splurge and have some really good food before we leave. Look at that. <laughs> See you later.
but look what the children put on the sign for us. We get a special sign that says, there's Montana home. Welcome home, mom, dad from Alaska. All their names, that's really, really special. And that's not the end of it. Look what they have inside the house for us. Wow, they fixed a beautiful cake, all amazingly decorated. Picked these sunflowers and daylilies, made us a smoothie. That is amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think you might all agree we have some amazing children. We do, <laughs> and I think they might be hiding somewhere. I think they're hiding because they're not coming out of the woodwork. And Autumn was up here, so we think they're hiding up here. Let's go check it out. What's in the Autumn? What's in the? Autumn, what's in the? Huh? What's in the? Huh? What's in the? Oh, they're home. They're hiding. <laughs> oh, hi, Evelyn. Hey. Hi. They're coming out of the woodwork. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Where are the other ones? Hi, Chloe. Oh. Behind the door. Hi, Wyatt. Oh, buddy. <laughs> there he goes. Found him. 